Echogenic liver meaning causes and diagnosis. Echogenicity is the ability of any inner part of the body to reflect sound waves, creating echoes during an ultrasound. An echogenic liver means the echoes reflected from an ultrasound appear wider brighter than those from a normal liver. The liver's echogenicity indicates the presence of fat content or possible damage. In most clinical settings, the prevalence of echogenic liver is around 1320, attributed especially to hepatic steatosis fatty liver disease. Hepatic steatosis affects approximately 10-46 of the general population. What does echogenic liver mean? Hyperechoic liver? Echogenic is how sound bounces back to form an image. Something in the liver with low echogenicity appears as a dark image, referred to as hypoechoic while that with high echogenicity reflects bright light and is known as hyperechoic. Generally, diffuse liver disease can be either hyperechoic due to fatty changes in the liver, cirrhosis, or steroid hepatopathy, or hypoechoic due to lymphoma, suppurative hepatitis, and congestion. Hyperechoic liver lesions on an ultrasound can result from several entities that may be malignant and benign. An echogenic liver is commonly identified with hepatic steatosis fatty liver disease. How is the liver disease diagnosed? To diagnose liver disease, your doctor will likely start by performing a physical exam and asking about your health history. After that, they will recommend an ultrasound test to check for liver attenuation. Low and high attenuation values can indicate the presence of disease. Afterward, your doctor may recommend the following tests to complete the diagnosis. Liver biopsy. This procedure is done by removing a tissue sample from the liver biopsy to help diagnose liver disease and check signs for the extent of the damage. The procedure uses a long needle inserted through the skin to extract a tissue sample. Then, it is sent to the lab for testing. Blood tests. These help to diagnose liver disease. In some cases, doctors can use them to look for genetic conditions or specific liver problems. Imaging tests. Liver sonography, MRI, and CT scans are the primary imaging modalities to diagnose liver problems, such as lesions. Finding the exact cause and the extent of damage is crucial in determining a treatment plan. What are the causes of echogenic liver lesions? Liver lesions can be malignant or benign. Most lesions are detected during imaging tests, and while most are benign, receiving a proper diagnosis is crucial. Some possible causes of liver lesions include the following. Prolonged use of birth control pills. Smoking, cirrhosis from chronic liver disease due to heavy drinking, or due to hepatitis B or C. Malformation of the liver, genetic mutations, present at birth, or after a kinococcus infection. Extended use of anabolic steroids. While anybody can develop liver lesions, others are at a higher risk due to their medical condition, such as diabetes, hemochromatosis iron buildup, cirrhosis or lifestyle behaviors like being overweight, heavy alcohol use, smoking cigarettes, or eating food with aflatoxin. Malignant lesions. Malignancy is the abnormal growth of cells or tissues that creates a cancerous tumor. These are some of the malignant entities responsible for the hyperchoic liver. Hepatocellular carcinoma, especially in a cirrhotic liver, is a common type of liver cancer. Cholangiocarcinom or bile duct cancer. Benign lesions. A benign tumor has no significant effect on the body. However, Below are some tumors to consider when the ultrasound reflects a positive image of a hyperchoic liver. Focal nodular hyperplasia or hepatic tumor that forms in the liver. Hepatic hemangioma. The presence of hypercogenicity may be due to fat around a liver lesion, but some non-fat lesions may also be echogenic. What are the possible errors from imaging diagnosis? A diagnostic error can harm an individual with the average diagnostic error rates ranging from 3% to 5%. The four categories of errors that may occur from imaging tests include an interpretive or cognitive error occurs when an abnormality is seen, but its significance and meaning are not correctly understood, resulting in an incorrect diagnosis. Communication error, 
where the radiologist fails to communicate the results effectively. Imaging or technique acquisition error, which can happen due to physical or technical limitations of the modalities imaging, like inadequate equipment, inexperienced staff, or staff shortage. Perceptual errors, which can occur when abnormalities aren't detected due to under-reading, image manipulation, or a misleading patient history report. Radiologic interpretation is not a binary process. It takes far more techniques than the times used to acquire the images. Factors such as the volume of imaging studies, limited patient information, limited access to trained staff, and workplace distractions can constitute misinterpretations, resulting in misdiagnosis.